Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to learn how to draw the Lewis structure for water, right? Or H2O. Okay, I will show you step by step method to draw the Lewis structure of water. In water, we have the element hydrogen and oxygen. So, in the first step, we'll find out the valence electron of hydrogen and oxygen. So, let me find out the valence electrons of oxygen first. You know that the ox atomic number of oxygen is 8. So, if you write the electronic configuration, you will get this uh, electronic configuration, right? Okay, to get the valence electrons, we, you have to consider the outermost cell. That is, you have to consider the, uh, the highest number of principal quantum number. So, here the highest number of principal qu quantum number is 2, right? N equal to 2. We know that the electrons in outermost cell or valency uh, shell is called valency electrons. So, here since uh, n equal to 2 is the valency shell and in this valency shell we have 2 plus 4 that is 6 valency electrons that is in oxygen we have 6 valency electrons now we have to find out the valency electrons in hydrogen as you know that hydrogen is a part of water you know that the uh, atomic number of hydrogen is 1 so if you do the electronic configuration you will get this here the highest principal number n equal to 1 so this is the valency shell and the number of electron in valency shell is 1 that's why the valency electron of hydrogen is 1 right look at here we have another way to find out the valency electrons for oxygen and hydrogen as you know that the group number tells us the number of valence electrons for the element. However, uh, in water we have hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is the element of group 1A or 1. That's why it is, group number indicates the valence electrons. So, hydrogen will have 1 valence electrons. On the other hand, the group number of oxygen is 6A. This means that oxygen has 6 valence electrons. Or, you will get the oxygen in group 16 in this case you have to deduct the first digit then you are getting six valence electrons that is oxygen have six valence electron this is the first step in first step uh, we'll count the total valence electron look at here in water we have one atom of oxygen so we are getting six valence electron and two hydrogen that is uh, we have one valence electrons for one hydrogen and two hydrogen for two valence electrons right so totally we are getting six plus two that is eight valence electron in water right now in the second step uh, i have to find out the uh, central atom right you know that hydrogen is all time is the outer atom so the oxygen will be the center atom right so after finding the center atom in the third state you have to connect uh, the outer atom with the center atom by a single bond right so look at here we have two outer atoms so we have to connect uh, with center atom by two uh, one single bond for each right so this so in this structure we have used 2 plus 2 that is 4 valence electrons we have used here 4 valence electrons look at her in in total we have 8 valence electron and here we have you just 4 valence electrons so 8 minus 4 equal to 4 right and these 4 will be used to satisfy the octet for central atom as the duet is complete for hydrogen so we have two valency electron left right so if i put two lone pairs then we then we have nothing left in case of valence electron right look at here now oxygen has two plus two plus two plus two that is eight valence electrons so we have satisfied the octet for oxygen and also we have satisfied duet for hydrogen 
right? So this is the Lewis structure of uh, water, right? Look at here. Now we are going to determine the formal charge for for this molecule, and you know that. Uh, we, uh, to calculate the formal charge, we will use this equation. Formal charge equal to valency electrons of a specific atom minus doors attached to that atoms minus lines attached to the atom. Look at here. For this uh, hydrogen, uh, we know that uh, the valency electron of hydrogen from electronic configuration is 1. Then we have to minus doors attached to this hydrogen and we have no doors or lone pairs and then lines we have one line attached to hydrogen so minus one so totally we are getting zero so the formal charge for this uh, hydrogen is zero since this hydrogen and this hydrogen similar so this hydrogen will also have formal charge zero so let me find out the formal charge for this oxygen look at here the valence electron of oxygen from the electronic configuration is 6 minus we have to f uh, find out doors attached to oxygen here we have four dots right minus we have two uh, lines so here we have two lines so if you add then you are getting zero that is formal charge of oxygen here is also zero right so overall water molecule uh, overall water molecule will be neutral but remember that the oxidation state of uh, oxygen here is minus 2 and the oxidation state of hydrogen is plus 1 so oxidation state and formal charge is totally different so thank you for viewing this video be well uh, i have a special blog post you can read that blog post from the description box of this video